Hello. Today, we're going to talk about a condition known as IgA nephropathy. This disease affects the kidneys and is the most common form of glomerulonephritis worldwide. It happens when IgA, a protein that helps your body fight infections, settles in your kidneys, causing inflammation and, over time, damage. Let's talk about how it's diagnosed and treated. If IgA nephropathy is suspected, your doctor might perform urine and blood tests and confirm the diagnosis through a kidney biopsy. The treatment options are broad and aim to slow the disease progression, protect the kidneys, and control symptoms. This can include blood pressure medications, such as renin angiotensin aldosterone system inhibitors, which help reduce blood pressure, reduce the amount of protein in the urine, and protect your kidneys. Statins, which are cholesterol-reducing medications, may be used to help reduce your cholesterol levels and further help protect your kidneys and overall health. Sodium glucose co-transporter. Two inhibitors have been shown to benefit kidney health and slow the progression of kidney disease in patients with IgA nephropathy. And lastly, glucocorticoids may help reduce inflammation in your kidneys. More recently, a new medication, Sparsentin, was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of IgA nephropathy. Sparsentin is a dual-acting antagonist for both angiotensin receptors and endothelin receptors. It has shown potential in reducing proteinuria, excess proteins in the urine, a key marker of kidney damage, which can slow the progression of IgA nephropathy. This could mean a significant step forward in managing this disease. Remember, it's important to discuss the best treatment plan for you with your healthcare provider. Thank you for joining us to learn about IgA nephropathy. Together, stronger, kidney strong.